right, we're getting close to finishing the book. We only have a little bit left, so we're going to keep going. Um, the last thing we talked about was um, the team lost the championship. And Melody insisted on going to school, and her classmates are kind of coming up with excuses as far as why they didn't tell her that they left on the earlier flight. Um, and then there was a picture of them in the newspaper, and Melody started laughing because she thought it was really funny. Um, the class got like a uh, really little trophy. And they thought that they wanted to give it to Melody, but she didn't want it because she thought it was ugly. Um, and then she rolled herself out of the classroom. So that's where we're picking up. Fifth grade is probably pretty rocky for lots of kids. Homework, never being quite sure if you're cool enough, clothes, parents, wanting to play with toys and wanting to be grown up at the same time, underarm odor. I guess I have all that. Plus about a million different layers of other stuff to deal with. Making people understand what I want. Worrying about what I look like. Fitting in. Will a boy ever like me? Maybe I'm not so different from everyone else after all. It's like somebody gave me a puzzle, but I don't have the box with the picture on it. So I don't know what the final thing is supposed to look like. I'm not even sure if I have all the pieces. That's probably not a good comparison since I couldn't put a puzzle together if I wanted to. Even though I usually know the answers to most of the questions at school, lots of stuff still puzzles me. Penny came home from the hospital with bumps and bruises, a cast, and a new red hat. Doodle is back in her arms. They're spoiling her rotten. That's okay with me. Even Butterscotch is treating Penny like she's an injured puppy. The dog has brought all her favorite stuffed toys into Penny's room, like gifts. Today, I'm working on Miss Gordon's autobiography project. Mrs. V has Elvira plugged into the computer. Classical music is softly seeping from her new iPod. I hear soft purple. This is going to take a while. So much is stuffed inside my mind. I have lots to say and just one thumb to say it with. I guess I'll start at the very beginning. So this is her typing her paper. So this is what her paper says. Words. I'm surrounded by thousands of words. Maybe millions. Cathedral, mayonnaise, pomegranate, Mississippi, Neapolitan, hippopotamus, silky, terrifying, iridescent, tickle, sneeze, wish, worry. Words have always swirled around me like snowflakes, each one delicate and different, each one melting untouched in my hands. Deep within me, words pile up in huge drifts, mountains of phrases and sentences and connected ideas, clever expressions, jokes, love songs. From the time I was really little, maybe just a few months old, words were like sweet liquid gifts, and I drank from them like lemonade. I could almost taste them. They made my jumbled thoughts and feelings have substance. My parents have always blanketed me with conversation. They chattered and babbled. They verbalized and vocalized. My father sang to me. My mother whispered her strength into my ear. Every word my parents spoke to me or about me, I absorbed and kept and remembered. All of them. I have no idea how I untangled the complicated process of words and thoughts, but it happened quickly and naturally. By the time I was two, all of my memories had words, and all my words had meanings, but only in my head. I have never spoken a single word, and I'm almost 11 years old. That's the end of the book. But, fun fact, that was also exactly what chapter one said. So she started the book saying that, and then she ended it. So that means that her paper she's writing for her teacher is her entire book. Um, I will... I'm going to look up the number for this AR test, and you can go ahead and take an AR test on this book. So give me one second while I find that number. the 
Make sure you have something to write with so you can write this number down. I'm going to hold it up, but it's going to be backwards on your screen. Well, maybe not. I might figure out a way to make it not backwards. All right. Here is your number. One, three, six, four, two, one. It's going to look like this. If you need to pause the video right now, this would be a good idea so that you can get that number. And go ahead and take an AR test. You don't have to email me and show me what your score is. I can log into the AR website and find that myself. So, good luck. This book is 8AR points.